practice we're doing too this weekend is we're talking about Muhammad Ali. Did he have any influence over you? What do you think of him as a kid and as a young fighter coming up? Well, you know, I I, uh, I was in the army when he was when he was you know uh, when he won the gold came out of the Olympics. Uh, well. When he, not when he came out of it, but when he turned pro, I was, it was, it was you know, I was 70 through 72, I was in the army when he was in his president, when he, uh, you know, uh, so I went through the whole thing when he refused to go to Vietnam and, uh, and, and because of his religion. So, you know, I had a lot of respect for what he, for what he stood for. He, he, he believed in what he stood for. Uh, uh, I thought he was a tremendous talent of watching him fight. Uh, he was just, you know, amazing for a, for a man that big to move the way he moved. That was what the uh, thing that was most amazing to me is the how big he was and how how fast he was and how not only not only his hands because we've had you know Mike Tyson was a tr very very quick hands you know but he couldn't move on his feet the way Muhammad did and so that was the difference uh, and and uh, and then I got to meet him and and, and he was just a, a riot to be around just a great guy you know uh, actually I defended my title in, in the, uh, the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas. On a, on a Thursday night, and then he defended his title against Leon Spinks that Saturday. And I'll tell you a little story, man. His, his, his trainers found out about my running program, and there was no. And they, they were, we heard that like there's nobody who runs like you. We like, can you can you make can Muhammad run with you? I said sure. You know, I get up at five, come down to the to the lobby, and we'll go run. You know, and okay, we're gonna meet you. So we come down to the lobby at five o'clock in the morning, and here comes Muhammad. He's gonna meet me. But as soon as he comes down, you know, all the all the night owls in the hotel that are still gambling, they see him and they he gets rushed, he gets surrounded, and I'm standing there, he's signing out of grass, and he starts doing magic tricks, you know. <laughs> and I'm going, Muhammad, we're gonna run or what? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, hold on a second. So I'm like half an hour waiting, and I said, I told the trick, said, I gotta go run, man. And he goes, oh, okay, okay, well, I said, Muhammad, we're gonna run. He goes, yeah, I'll catch up to you. So I go do my six mile, I come back, he's still there, and signing out of grass. I, you know, I never, <laughs> I go up, took a shot, came down, he's still there. He never got out to run, so, you know, uh, and we had breakfast together. Uh, he's just an amazing guy, you know, uh, and, and, you know, I, I think that's why Leon beat him that, that Saturday, because he, he really didn't, I think he thought, you know, I got this, Leon only had nine fights, you know, I'm gonna take care of this kid, no problem, you know, so, yeah, but he, he was just an amazing guy, and, he, uh, and what he did for boxing, and what he did for, you know, for especially the heavyweight division and purses, because I mean, it wasn't until Muhammad that you, know, you started to see those million-dollar purses in fight. I mean, so he changed. He really changed the sport as far as you know the the opportunity for fighters to to, to really make money. You know, can, can I just back up to the army thing. Did not, so you were yeah. in the army and he had gone through that whole thing where he was. Banned. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Was there any part of you that kind of was like, hey, you know, if I'm here, why can't oh, yeah. he be? Here? Was there any part of you that? Was oh, yeah, like, not for me. Some of the guys on the team, you know, we had, you know, there was, you know, maybe 20 guys on the team, you know, 12 guys that actually competed, and the rest of the guys were sparring parts, you know, and some of the guys. You know, some of the guys were, you know, uh, upset, you know, talked crap about him, about not, you know, ah, he's, you know, why doesn't he want to report, why right? that's all crap, that he's a, you know, a Muslim, he just changed because, you know, but no, I, I was like, you know, I think he has a right to, to his beliefs, and, uh, and not, no part of me uh, uh, really judged him on that, I, you know, I thought he, uh, <clears throat> I, I just thought, well, that's his religion, that's all his, all his beliefs, you know, he has a right to it, you know, that, that was my mentality, but it's, a lot of the guys did, a lot of, and a lot of, we, we also, you know, just being around the base, you know, in the mess hall, we would go eat, we, we heard, you know, because everybody knew we were the boxing team, and we'd walk into the, the mess hall to eat, and, you know, be other soldiers, and they'd start talking about the boxing, and then you could, you heard, ah, that Muhammad, that Cassius Clay, blah, 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 you know, so you heard a lot of it in the Army. So that was, it was, it was, I don't know if it was 50-50, but I, I think it was maybe 60-40 that were pro and, 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 and against him, you know. Okay. Talk about the pressure that was on him, because yeah. just as many people loved him, disliked him. That must have been, just think about that, fighting under that kind of atmosphere and pressure and, and what kind of a guy it takes to do that. Yeah, you know, but I think he fed off of that. You know, I think I think he, he really fed off of that because you know it was kind of, it's kind of like what uh, uh, 
Now, how I, you know, when I was, when I wasn't allowed to compete in the uh, Pan American Trials because I wasn't an American yeah, citizen or the Olympics, uh, I, I turned that in, you know, I, 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 I used that to drive me, to push me. And I think he did the same thing, uh, that he knew people disliked him for that decision and, and he wanted to, he wanted to prove, you know, that, that uh, they were all wrong about him uh, and, 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 and I think that drove him. Uh, especially for what he did in the ring. Now the rest of his life, outside the ring, I really, you know, I really don't know about, you know. But I know, I know what I saw, and what I saw was a determined guy who just was not willing to. Even even the fight, even the fight with Leon Spinks. I mean, last night they had uh, it was a great 15-round fight uh, gathering of, of great champions of five 15 rounds, and they showed that 15th round of him and, and Leon. And I mean, till the end, he was trying, and Mohammed was still, he was out of shape. You could see he was laying on the rope, but then he would come off him, and he, and he would throw a four or five punch combination trying to, trying to knock Leon off because he knew he had to knock him out. And even then, you could see, you could see that drive and the determination. You know?